The Flint water crisis has reignited the debate over the state's open records laws. Michigan, just one of two states that don't subject the governor's office or lawmakers to Freedom of Information Act requests. That's right, but today in Lansing, lawmakers from both parties unveiled a new 10-bill package that would change that. But how did we get here in the first place? New tonight, 24-hour news aide Heather Walker takes us back to 1976, talking with one of the original sponsors of the bill that started it all. And that sponsor says it's time for a change. That's right. He says it is time for a change. This legislation was being or is being introduced during Sunshine Week, which advocates for more transparency in government. The former lawmakers that I spoke to say that the FOIA law worked back in the 70s when it was passed. But after events like the Flint water crisis, lawmakers need to be included. Today, a group of 37 legislators introduced a package of 10 bills that would include the governor and the legislature in the Freedom of Information Act, or FOIA, which allows the public to access their internal documents. Back in 1976, then-Representative Dave Hollister was a co-sponsor of the original FOIA bill. I was so offended by the closed nature of uh, local government. And I found that it was true all up and down the, the system. The bill was in response to the Nixon Watergate scandal. There was just a, a, a cleansing that needed to happen. And it was fun to be part of it. FOIA laws were passed around the country, but here in Michigan, it wasn't clear if the legislature and the governor were included. I think in order to get the votes, as in some cases of a compromise, uh, and many lawmakers at the time didn't want to be open or subject to that. That is until 1986, when then-Senator Mitch Irwin asked the Michigan Attorney General for an opinion. Frankly, I didn't know. So when you don't know and there's some uncertainty and ambiguity, you do and can request an Attorney General's opinion. The Attorney General determined that the term public body did not include the governor's office or the legislature. Despite multiple attempts to change it, the law has remained that way ever since. Irwin says it's time for change. If you have nothing to hide, you have no concern about opening up the FOIA Act. Hollister agrees. It's unfortunate it's taken something as tragic as um, the Flint water contamination uh, issue to uh, expose how um, hypocritical it was for the legislature and the governor to exempt themselves. Both men are hopeful that this time it will pass. Maybe we'll complete the reform that we started 34 years ago. The new package of bills could be introduced in the House as soon as tomorrow. Wow. Yeah, just get the sense that the ramifications from the Flint crisis will have so far reaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just one area. Of course, you'd like to see a little bit more right. accountability and not the ability to hide. Right. It's a documents. shame that it would take an issue like Flint to happen. Right. Exactly right. like Hollister said. But I guess some good may be coming out of this, so we're going to have to keep watching. Perhaps. Thank you, Heather.